Okay, in this guitar instructional video, we're going to go over five different positions to play a scale. And we're going to focus on minor scales because these five positions, um, if you focus them, uh, focused on both the major and minor, you know, the basic scales, they're a little different. So we're going to focus on minor because with minor scales, that tends to, uh, they tend to be played more in blues and, you know, rock and rock and roll um, is what I mostly uh, focus on in this channel. But we do do a little bit of, uh, you know, check out some of my videos. There are a couple of classical and flamenco and jazz uh, instructional videos as well. But um, th these are um, A minor scales. Okay, they're natural minor scales. Five different positions, and you can transpose all of these positions, okay? Once you memorize the fingering, the fingerings, I'm going to show you. I'm going to play each scale, and then I'm going to give it to you uh, on paper here, so then you can jot it down. So, A minor, right? All right. Uh, I think yesterday I did a video on open A minor. Be sure to practice your open A minors. Always a good idea, all right. And we're gonna we're gonna focus on two octave scales. So the first one is called G form. Now I don't know why these are called what they're called. My teacher taught me them back in the 1980s, and they are just you know got different names today. I just go by these old school names. They seem to work really well. Even though this first one is called a G form, it's not in the key of G. We are in A minor, starting on an A note, okay? But it's called G form. See that I got one viewer she's giving me some really good suggestions about you know getting a better camera and stuff like that so I'm going to work on that as well too but here we go the G form we're starting on the sixth string got to start with your fourth finger you could start with your first but it's going to be if you want to get the speed in there start with your fourth finger and in any time you'll get that coordination so once again starting on the A sixth string fifth fret fourth finger by the time that you get to your second string, you're playing this pattern of one, two, four, with your first, second, and fourth finger on the second, third, and fifth frets. Okay, then you're almost done with the scale. And then, there's, right there, is a scale, A minor, which has no sharps or flats, okay? It's the relative minor to C major. This is G form. G form, A minor scale. So when we get up to the third string, you're gonna play the second, fourth, and fifth frets with your first, third, and fourth fingers. Moving up to the third fret, so you kind of move up a half step with your first finger. What I mean by that is that you've been starting first finger has always been on the second fret but this is how easy this is because you're playing a four one two four one two four and then a one three four I'm on the third string with a one three four move up to the third fret with a one three four finger pattern third fifth and sixth on the second string and then the third and fifth play it for you one more time All one, two, four, then one, three, four, one, three, four. Be sure to go backwards as well. This is called G form. It's an A minor scale, but it's called G, G form. Be sure to transpose, okay, G form. My slappy handwriting. Be sure to transpose. I mean, you go to different keys. But if you learn this pattern, you can play it anywhere. You can play it in 11 other keys. And there it is right there. We're just gonna go over two at the most, three at the most, and see how we're doing on time. I don't, I don't wanna, 
and I'll go over 10 minutes too much. It looks like we're maybe we'll do about two or three. So there, there that is right there. Memorize that pattern. Okay. Over here, it's just one, three, four. Okay. One, three, four. Sorry about that mess, but I changed the fingerings. I thought it was better. All right, so now what we're going to work on is known as an E-form type 1. There's two types of E-forms, E-form type 1, E-form type 2. This is E-form type 1. You start with your first finger on the same fret, <coughs> excuse me, and string as you did for G-form. So for E form type one, we're gonna start with our first fingers. Sixth string, fifth fret. And you're just gonna play a one, three, four, one, three, four. First, third, and fourth fingers pattern on the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets. Then you play a one, three, four, but on the fifth, seventh, and ninth fret. E form type one, A minor scale. I think we're going to be able to get the E-form type too. So this is simply just, I'm not going to give you any examples today. Although. I'm always reminded of uh, Steve Howe for some reason from, from the band, yes. Because it, oh, it seems to me that he, he was always using this, this shape. This form, E form type one. You know, he was great. And um, so, one, three, four on the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets of the sixth string, fifth, seventh, and eighth frets of the fourth string, and then the fifth, seventh, and ninth with your first, third, and fourth fingers. Third string, fifth and seventh frets, first and third fingers. Now, second string, fifth, sixth, and eighth frets. And then just stop right there on that A. I'm also, I'm also f alternating. Don't forget to go backwards. I'm alternating my picking as well. All right, alternate your picking down, up, down, up. Here's E form type one, A minor. I, I, I cannot emphasize enough to memorize the fingering pattern and how these scales are gonna change your life. I mean, you're just gonna be so fluent, so knowledgeable. I mean, these are different than your pentatonics, obviously. A pentatonic starts right there, you ruin the extension. You got those, a couple of those extra notes that you're playing. E form, type one. Now, all A minor scales. Make sure you transpose. We, we do have time for a third one, but I'm telling you, just don't try to digest this way too fast, okay? Digest it slowly, get the gnome, practice them, maybe one at a time per day, for, even for a week, even for a month, I'm telling you, just just so that you can, you, you can be able to go up and down at least seven, eight different other scales, okay? But the next A minor scale that we're gonna study is E form type two, and this has an extension. So it starts the exact same way as E form type one on that sixth string, fifth fret, using your first, third, and fourth fingers. It's the same right there, all the way up to there. Now, so it's five, seven, eight, one, three, four, fifth, seventh, and eighth frets, one, three, four, fifth, seventh, now your ninth fret, now you're gonna go to your 10th fret with your fourth finger. And then on the third string, seventh fret with your first finger, first finger, ninth fret, third finger, 10th fret, fourth finger, eighth and 10th with your second and fourth finger. Here's the extension.
There it is. He formed type two. Memorize it. So that's going to be helpful. This is part one of a video on the five different positions. We'll talk about the other two in the next couple of days. Keep playing and have fun.